How old are you? How old are you? What a question. Why isn't it how young are you? This is a relativistic, false assumption set up by time. It's a game we play. We are immortal, non-mortal. That even has the word death in it. How old, death, aging, old, immortal, mortal, not mortal. We're fighting against death. How young are you? How eternal are you? How are you? What being are you? Sounds a little crazy, I know. When someone asks how old you are, they're asking how old the body is. Yogananda used to say, that's like asking someone, how old is your house? This is just my house that I live in temporarily. Yeah. We are immortal. We are eternal. We pendle between zero and one. I am one. I am one. Our souls are literally pieces made in the image of God's source. We are pieces of the oneness. We are pieces of the all that is, of beingness. We are pieces of the beingness. So experience yourself through the day. Notice a little bit. I am an eternal being. Eternity exists within me. You could say it that in the center of each chakra, chakras are made up too, it's all made up. We are basically points of ideas of in the consciousness before there is space-time. Then we become a sphere in the uh, fifth dimension. And these are arbitrary, but they are real, the seven dimensions as well. But it's all made up. Remember, it's all made up by source, which you are. I and my Father are one. What I do, you can do in greater things. Every teacher, Buddha, says, you are me. Krishna says, pick up your sword and, you know, follow the path. You can do this too. We are immortal beings. The two things that are inevitable, death and taxes, are completely false. You cannot, un you cannot get away from the fact that you are an eternal being. You cannot get away from the fact that you are an eternal being. We can play at death. We can play at pretending that there's limited time and scarcity. My father, after he, quote, died, came and talked to me in a friend's backyard. And he sort of said, I can't believe I forgot that on this side or in this, where I am now, this is what's real and my temporary human incarnation was kind of a blip uh, of forgetting the, on the other side of the veil. We are immortal. So experience yourself, just sort of through the day, take a full divine breath. I am an immortal being. I am an eternal being. I am that I am. This is a fact. Yes, Tobias, I know it's true, but I got to pay the bills and, you know, deal with the kids and the schedule. Yeah, I understand. But if we want to change on the planet, these, quote, naive idealistic ideas that I'm presenting here of immortality, of eternalness, of beingness, by the way, every teacher on the planet has had the same idea, you are eternal beings, eternal life. Eternal life. It's different than immortal, not death, not dead, immortal, I am not dead. You know, that's focusing on the death. Not that there isn't real death in a sense. Death is the cessation or slowing down of the energy, of the energy dissipating, of you becoming unconscious of the energy, of you abdicating your energy and wanting to go numb and be sedated. We can create a sort of stasis death like that. You are immortal. We are immortal. We are eternal life. Fact. So when someone asks you how old you are, you can say, I'm one. I'm eternal. We pendle between the oneness of all things. I and my father are one. I and my mother are one. And the zero point from which is the spring, 
the eternal spring, the cornucopia, the horn of plenty that which seemingly comes from nothing and brings the plenty of all that is. That's the zero point creates the plenty. From the zero point, from the nothing comes the everything. So when people ask you how old you are, you say, I am between zero and one. I'm between the zero point and oneness. I'm between the zero point and oneness, eternally, forever and ever. This is a fact, a deeper fact than all the social security cards and all the age projected things of insurance companies, actuarial tables, predictions, statistics and all that. That's all bullshit. It's all made up temporary smoke in the metote, maya fog, mind fog, ego fog that we have created. You are an eternal being. You cannot undo this fact. You can pretend and play the game we're currently playing on earth of aging bodies and death and so forth. And I'm not minimizing it. Of course, it's, it's there to wake us up. It is a game we've gotten ourselves caught in. This is just a reminder. Remind. Redo your mind. A reminder. We're going to remind you and your mind and me that I am an eternal life being. Fact. And you can't get away from that fact. Thank you.